Uh, it's a great turnout. I mean, we were not expecting this many people. Wow, yeah. We got 70 plus Crazy. people we trying to be crammed into this garage. 72 entrance and melee singles. Insane. It's really just ridiculous. Alright, so again, we got DP and my boy Manswin doing hand warmers. <laughs> is this hand warmers? Well, this is actually an interesting matchup because, like, DP is definitely going to body him. I'm calling it now. DP is going to destroy Hunter. Right. But Mantwin, aka Hunter, is a solid buff. He's one of George's many, uh, you know, random, like, mediocre buffs, right? Yeah. And he, he actually knows the matchup, which a lot of buffs don't know. You know? This is true. Because he plays against um, a guy who was on commentary earlier, Ryan Brochill, who also plays Dr. Mario, and they live together, so they they are roommates, so they play a lot. He definitely knows the Doc matchup. I don't think he'll get, like, Top totally Top 16, destroyed. a.k.a. bracket, is probably, in, in my estimate, it's going to start at midnight if there are no doubles. Um, if doubles happen, it'll probably not start until like 2 or 3 a.m. I think doubles is going to get canceled, but uh, we'll see. I mean, it's, it's nothing is set in stone right now, guys. Honestly, I believe Hunter can win this. He just has to play out of his mind. I personally think he's going to get fucking destroyed. I think he's going to get annihilated. Like, I think, like, Hunter is going to be unable to have children because of the results of this game. Because DP is so good against Puff. That's okay. something you can't yeah, discount, I right? Yeah, like, I guess I least, didn't really Like, Hunter that. does know the matchup a little bit, but DP is really good against those floaties. So I would be very surprised to see Hunter take a win out here. I think it's going to be too, a strong 2-0. By the way, guys, in case the stream doesn't know yet, the, the uh... So yeah. it looks like the prize for the tournament, the grand prize, is a signed autograph picture of Justin Bieber. <laughs> right. With like a garage sale frame. We have uh, a framed picture of Justin Bieber signed that has a speech bubble with him saying melee though, which is our man GA West's like signature phrase on Facebook. Yeah. We'll, we'll get a picture of that up here on the stream eventually. Uh, not Hopefully. gonna happen right now, but you know, after another few matches, right. like, someone will bring it by. They'll get to see Justin pretty Bieber's beautiful. lovely signature. And I believe our first place pot is around what, 190? Somewhere around there, which is really, really good for a garage tournament. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, right, with the caption, you did it. It's amazing. <laughs> yep. He's actually, like, I mean, that's good. He's playing pretty well, actually. He's doing a lot of stuff right. That was good. Right. Like, it looked like, you know, took too much damage there for an edge guard, right? Because, like, Puff usually doesn't have to take any damage. But against Doc, you have to take those trades. His up E is so good. Like, people are all often surprised by it. Mario, Dr. Mario's up E is one of the hardest moves to edge guard in the game because just that fist becomes so massive. It gives him so much priority that anytime you try to drop down there with any type of aerial, you're just going to get hit right back up. Right. <laughs> All right. That was a song back here. He played neutral really well right there. Really good pill to cover himself to get back to the stage. Kind of forced him off the ledge. Interesting thing that like a lot of people can actually learn from this is after. Uh, Mantuin won neutral there with that back air. He wasn't willing to go back and reset to neutral. He wanted to get more from that one back air and winning neutral there, and that's just something you can't do against Doc. You have to back air, reset to neutral, back air again, reset to neutral, win neutral again with the back air, reset to neutral. Right, because Doc is in this awkward combo weight where he's not like peach level floaty, and he, but he's not like Fox level fastballer. So when you hit him, he just kind of goes like that medium length away where you're yep. not sure whether or not you should try to go for exactly. a follow-up. Exactly. So it is a bait, you know? Yeah. Like, you, are, you can often feel like you're going to go for the follow-up and just not get it. Okay. Uh, Axe has already played on stream uh, quite a bit. I think his pool, he might be done with his pool matches already. So it might be a little bit before you guys yeah. see Axe again. I believe that both he and possibly Wizzy have both finished their pool matches for the day. Um, have they? Do you know, Brennan? Do you not know for the Wizzy day. No, no, no. Not for the day. That would be, they'll be back. Okay, okay so, yeah. so both actually Wizzy are both finished for pools. Okay. 
Yeah, we've definitely got some of the PR coming up on pools. All right, so we, all the top players like Drugbox, Axe. I mean, that's what this about. whole tournament is about, right, though? Like, you get to come here, you get to <laughs> scout out Georgia's hidden bosses, you know? <laughs> I mean, this is definitely the hidden boss tournament. We've got the garage theme going on. All right, so He's doing a lot better this game. Hunter definitely keeping this respectable, I mean. He's doing a really good job of playing neutral. You know, he's doing the back airs and the air mix-up. Right. And it's working for him. He's just trying to go. Oh, that's it. Oh, sick. Attaboy, Hunter. Let's go. Sweet. Now, this is a completely different game. Hunt, like, Jigglypuff winning is a completely different monster you have to deal with. Because when a Jigglypuff's winning, they don't have to worry really about that punish when they get come back from a respawn after a rest. So they can just go for really any ridiculous slash they yeah, want. And if it I'm hits, it just extends their lead even further. Yeah, it's a free turning for Dark Box. <laughs> Wizzy gets third, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Free tourney for Kohensky, the legend. <laughs> God, I love the Carolina Stream Monsters. They are my favorite. All my money's on Kohensky today. I believe. Is this Macho Man Sam? This is indeed Macho Man Sam. Rocking Macho the beard Sam. now. All I think it's just tell from my voice, though. I appreciate that, man. Good job, Manta, being able to hold up the sleeve. This isn't a bad situation. All right. This okay. is not a bad situation. See? Oh. Good air dodge to avoid He actually played that poorly. Down. He could have done that a lot better than he did. Really? He like could have just like snapped onto the ledge with like an up B or something. And there like there's no reason Puff should have had to be afraid of that. But I think I think Man 2 was a little there scared you go. there. That's good. This, this should be the ledge guard. Oh no, he didn't go for the aerial. Okay, it's fine, okay. it's fine. Manto's definitely playing scared. I don't think he's gonna win this game, but he absolutely has the chance to. I mean, all it takes right now is one rest. That's it! Oh! There you go, Hunter! Sick! Making me look like a fucking idiot. That's what I'm talking about. I am Macho Man Sambo. Yeah, do you, do you want to talk about Melty Blood? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We're not going to talk about Melty Blood on stream. <laughs> Sorry if I broke your ears, but that's my boy. I'm excited for him to take Wow, that, that was awesome. I'm not talking about Melty Blood, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But uh, that was awesome that Manson had actually managed to pull that out. He could totally win the set now. I think, like, Manson taking a game means he can absolutely win the set. Like, DB is no, like, paragon of good mindset, you know? I called it. So, I called it. I told you, if he plays out of his mind right now, yeah. he could definitely take this. That's game. so hype. I did not think there was any way Manson could beat uh, TP in any, I, in any way. I, I really want to see this. Sorry. I just knew how good... Hunter was at this matchup. I did not know. I, I knew he knew the matchup. I didn't know how good he was at it. He figured it out, though. He made that adjustment we were talking about. You know, game one, he went back air, and then he'd go in and try to get more back airs, and he'd get bopped for it. Game two, he took his back airs. He took his back airs, you know, backed off, and then he got a couple up tilts to let the strong rest. Right. Right now, this is Ooh, DP's oh. game to lose. Definitely. I can't believe he missed that up smash. That was weird. I guess he just ducked it. His name is Man Twin because he also has oh. a twin who looks exactly like him that also plays Smash. Um, doesn't really play as much, but it's still kind of interesting. <laughs> this is an awesome game. I'm really enjoying this. I'm really excited for this. Ooh. Oh, no. Come on. Jump down. Okay. See, he's still playing a little greedy, though. Good he hasn't made grab. the full adjustment. But he's playing well. Like the aggression is mixing up DP. I think Hunter really needs to do more of these nares as he's pilling to get back onto the stage because the nair stays out long enough to neutralize the pill and still go through. Any other aerial he tries to do just clanks with the pill and then he doesn't get anything else after it. So like the, the forward air like on the ledge is like just not good. Like it's why did they do that? Very risky dash attack right there. Yeah, and a good punish. Oh, this sadly missed that. This should be the ledge guard. Like, he seems afraid to go off stage and hit him. Hunter, he's dropping a couple ledge guards because, like, he should just go off stage and board air him, you know, or whatever. Like, I mean, I haven't seen him, so, like, I'm not going to. Really good platform pressure by DP, but he gets punished with the pound and the taunt. 
Sick Tom, right on the edge of the Pokemon Stadium platform. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's got himself into. Ooh! It was a good call out, but he still got body for it. See, that's the thing, like, he called out uh, Dr. Mario's forward air with his own forward air, but it didn't matter, right? Like, he just crouch canceled it and then grabbed him and then he's dead. Right. So you, you have to not be greedy there. You have to just say, like, well, like, he fucked up, so I'm going to reset I and mean, I'm going to back here. I'm going to, like, focus on my spacing and play well. You don't just get free hits out of nowhere in this matchup, like. But he can still win. He can totally, this is still, like, a doable thing for man to win. I just, I mean. Let's be it's realistic. interesting that Why we're not. not it's interesting that we're not seeing more of those wall of pains with back airs because that's something that's always been like really just uh, bad di. Close set between these way two. To close it out, but definitely, I'm surprised it was close, and I'm really happy to see that. Fantastic. It's set. awesome to see Hunter improving like that. I think he's got a really strong mindset, and it's really just like the way he plays is you know holds him back a little bit. He, like I don't, maybe he doesn't play enough. I guess that's it.